Hi YouTube, in this video we're going to talk about what components you require to prepare for your solar panel installation. So obviously you'll need solar panels, you'll need an inverter. The inverter is by far the highest cost component from all of these. And uh, that's just due, due to the fact that you get so many different types of inverters from hybrid inverters to grid tied inverters and so on and so forth. And also if you go for a three phase inverter then that also adds further to your cost. Cabling as well, uh, you need high gauge cable because you need uh, cables uh, that are capable of um, carrying high current without getting very very hot. Uh, distribution boards, circuit breakers, trunking, conduits and finally we must em emphasize that you need a qualified electrician to do the installation. Do not take a chance and get people that are not, that are unqualified because you have a risk of fire if anything is installed incorrectly. When it comes to solar panels, I would uh, recommend that you not look at specific brands but instead rather focus on uh, brands that have good backup and warranty in the country also South Africa and in South Africa we have quite uh, a variety of solar panels and most of them are coming from the Far East also I take a look at the data sheets for the panels and make sure that you are satisfied with the outputs and also the um, the, the rated capacities as well when it comes to an inverter so it really depends on what uh, what you're looking for and we've discussed this already in a previous video if you're planning a green fields build then rather discuss with your electrician and builder about making provision for different distribution boards for a solar in installation so that then you can have a flash mounted db but if you're retrofitting it or you're installing it in an existing installation then you probably will have to use a surface mounted DB. Trunking and conduits again this is required if you are doing a retrofit or you're doing an, an, an existing installation addition. Okay and when it comes to your planning for your the placement of your solar panels you need to make sure that your dimensions are measured accurately and then you need to me measure the area and try and avoid shaded areas so if you have a look here on the right as you can see this it was in the afternoon here around say four o'clock you were starting to get to get shade in this area so plan your solar panel position in such a way that you avoid shaded areas because when you have shade over any even if it's a single panel then it impacts on the generation for the whole string and also you want to try and stay away from existing installations on your roof or structures so like there's a chimney here and the chimneys will usually require maintenance so you don't want workmen on the chimney that can potentially drop something heavy onto your panel you need these aluminium rails and your installer will will usually recommend what is best for your installation so depending on how your house is orientated in order to maximize sunlight then in South Africa you should have your panels facing north preferably and also the angle towards the sun should be about 45 to 50 degrees so if you have a flat roof then you probably have to mount your panels on a separate uh, stand. And this is how the installation looks once everything is installed and as you can see here the aluminium tracks are neatly fixed to your roof and there's no risk of the, the panels being uplifted in gale force winds for example and as you can see here it's quite nicely 
quite neatly fixed onto the roof tile just under the roof tile and you've got it fixed with a bolt that's all in the next video we'll show you the surface mounted db and uh, the exact uh, install uh, as is installation for the inverter as well okay thank you for watching hope you liked the video please watch the next video here